Hello all. Well look at this lovely lot. I have here a host of parallel clamps and a few F clamps kindly sent to me by Sorter Shop in Germany. They came with no request for review, just a thank you gift for support. And frankly, what woodworker, joiner or carpenter is going to turn down an offer of clamps? A couple of other YouTubers I know of have received a similar batch and some comments on their socials I've seen were largely dismissive of them in favour of the Bessie K-Body Revos. Fair enough perhaps, as the Revo is the benchmark for this type of parallel clamp. As I now own both the Bessie Revo and Salter body clamps as they call them, I thought I'd do a video looking at both, covering the differences, any likes and dislikes, which I prefer and which deserves your consideration and why. As this video is concentrating on the parallel clamps, let me just say quickly the 200mm F clamps here feel perfectly decent. Like Salter's body clamps, I've used them to some degree every day for about two weeks at the time of doing this vid and have no complaints whatsoever. Nice weight to them, good pressure, no fight getting them to bite the bar when you turn the screw. They do what an F clamp should and a pretty good deal at €14.98 per pair. The parallel clamps then, which I'll refer to as body clamps when talking about the Salter and Revo when talking about the Bessie. Well, I have here two 1 meter, four 800 mil, and four 600 mil. A nice selection whose delivery proved timely and extremely helpful in the last couple of weeks. So let's check a 1 meter Revo to a 1 meter body clamp. Starting with the steel bar, both are dimensionally the same. Same thickness, around 9 mil, same height and length. One difference though is in the concave down the sides of each bar. The concave on Salter's body clamp is larger than the Revo, giving the Revo a little bit more mass. If I hold the ends up to the camera here, you can see the figure 8 pattern is more chunky on the Revo on the left. There's a clear difference in the movable clamp jaws. The Revo is far more stubby or compact than the body clamp. With both extended right back to the stops and handles threaded fully open, the body clamp offers around 1020mm between the jaws, the Revo around 1045mm between the jaws. Both over the claimed 1 meter though, which is good. The jaws on the Revo are also a little wider than the body clamp, a difference of about 8mm. Both Bessie and Salter come with the plastic on bar spacers, two on the longer clamps, one on the shorter versions. Salter offer aftermarket sets so you can add more if needed, €2.34 for two. I'm sure Bessie must do too, but I couldn't find any after a quick search. The spacers from either clamp will fit the other, although the Bessies sit a little higher so they can't really be used together or mix and matched. The moving clamping jaw on the Revo feels very nice to use. The spring loading element feels more engaged than the Salter. Doesn't make a blind bit of difference to use, but just feels better. On both, you lift the handle to move back. However, lifting the handle without pulling back caterpillars the jaw along. It's quite progressive on the Revo, making it a genuinely useful feature to creep up to the clamping point on your work. The Salter body clamp has the same functionality, just less so. The spring loading is there, just not as present. Also the caterpillar action is much less progressive, moving maybe a millimetre each lift of the handle compared to Revo's 3mm-ish. The lever that applies the clamping force from the handle screw is less substantial on the Salter body clamp than on the Revo. They're also orientated differently, the angled side away from the handle on the Revo for example. Doubt this makes any difference, probably just an assembly convenience. One more thing about the bars, I did see a comment speculating the bars were lesser quality steel on the Salter and will wear faster. I can't find anything on the bars themselves or online indicating the steel type used on either. Visually, there appears zero difference in this regard. The Revo does have much smaller teeth though, as you can hopefully see in the shot. I've had these Revos a couple of months and there are some slight indications of wear in spots. Performance isn't affected at all. They could lose all their teeth and still clamp tight through friction alone I imagine. The teeth just assist. No signs of wear yet on the Salter after a couple of weeks solid use, though like the Bessies, time will no doubt take its toll. The handles themselves are quite different on each. The Salter body clamps have a clearly budget handle. Both the rubber overmould and the plastic don't feel especially tactile or good quality but are amply sized for applying good clamping force. The Revo handle feels great, good ergonomic shape and a little longer. The end nearest the jaw having a little extra rubber for the thumb lends itself to overall feel nicely. That's feel in the hand and feel for the force you're applying. A pretty significant handle difference is that the Revo has an Allen slot in the back for adding that extra bit of clamping force. Likely explains the more hefty clamping lever. In use though, which is rarely necessary in my brief experience, this extra force from Allen tightening can be a blessing or a hindrance. In one instance, it did help me close up a joint on a particularly awkward glue up. 
On another, it nearly ruined a small tabletop before I noticed the force was distorting the clamp itself beyond normal flex, and my work as a result. I'd rather not have it there to tempt me on reflection. Might be different for you depending on what you do, I suppose. But in almost every instance for me, hand tightening with either clamp is more than sufficient. Back end of both clamps is a stop and on both doubles as a support foot on the bench top. They're removable on both so you can flip the clamp jaw for use as a spreader. On the Revo, it's fixed in position. A neat feature on the Salter body clamp is the stop is movable. Just undo the thumb screw and you're able to wrestle it anywhere along the bar length and fix it in place. This might seem fairly insignificant but I like this feature. On my typically sized MFT bench top here for example, on the Revo, the stop hangs off the bench. Its use as a support foot is kind of nullified. On the body clamp, I can just move it to within the bench confines. I find it helps sometimes when you're clamping something smaller, stopping the weight of the bar from tipping back when you're getting things in place. It's a neat little feature. The 800mm body clamp Salter scent were actually what are sold as sets of two, including four of these frame press widgets. I may be wrong, but from what I can see, it's only Bessie and Salter that offer these as an accessory. These Salter ones, just the set of the four frame press widgets, come in at a smidge over half the price of the Bessie version. I don't have the Bessie version to compare for use, but I can tell you the Salter ones do exactly what they're supposed to, no issues. So what are they supposed to do? Well, as the name suggests, the presses allow you to lay two clamps in parallel, perpendicular to the other two, giving you a clamping jig of sorts for square or rectangular tops or frames. Sold on their own in sets of four, or with a clamp set, you could use a few sets if needed for large clamp ups. Yeah, I did catch my thumb there. Your concern is appreciated. I'll soldier on though, eh? One final thing is the top of the presses are level with the bar spacers on the Salter body clamps. As I mentioned earlier, the Revo ones sit a little higher, so I have them out of the way on the bottom here. You could use them on top, but you'd have to switch to the Salter spacers for level with the presses. As you can see, Salter or Bessie will fit the presses, and according to Keith at Rag and Bone Brown, his pony Jurgensen and, I think, Axminster parallel clamps also fit, so a pretty universal accessory. They're €17.34 Euro for four, and a decent addition if you've already got some parallel clamps of some sort. So, as I tag this video of verses, which one's best? Well, the Bessie, but I don't think that's the whole story. Taking the average UK price, the Bessie are at least a third more expensive than the Salter. Clamping up surfaces, tabletops and a variety of joints this past couple of weeks, I haven't noticed a single instance where I was using the Salter and wished I had the Bessie, or vice versa. They both do the job of a parallel clamp perfectly well. The Bessie feel better and the Allen wrench feature might appeal to some out there, but I haven't noticed any difference in the quality of results in my work that would lead me to say discount the Salter, just get the Bessie. As most of us would either invest straight away in, or build up over time, a large collection of such clamps. Of course I'd recommend some Bessie Revos if you find a good deal or can stretch to it. They are a hell of a clamp. But that's largely down to how they feel as opposed to a superior impact on your work. Nothing wrong with filling out the collection with something like these Salter body clamps. They do the job perfectly well. I mean, if you showed someone two tabletops made from solid wood boards, one clamped with the Bessie, the other with the Salter, they wouldn't be able to tell you which was which. Anyone who would tell you different would be having a bubble in my view. Confirmation bias and all that. As to longevity, well it's too early for me to say regarding either. Neither I'm certain would be a clamp for generations like the record sash clamps I have a few of, but can't see either of them not lasting a working life. We'll see I suppose. One final thing is again addressing a comment I've seen elsewhere about the Salter being a generic of some sort. The comparison I saw made was them being the same as those offered at Rutlands here in the UK. There's a few differences between the Rutlands and these. What they do look identical to are those offered by the Bora brand. Make of that what you will. So Salter is of course based in Germany. Arrival from dispatch takes about five working days and I've experienced no duties or taxes with either these sent to me by Salter or with bits I've ordered from Salter using my own funds. I'll leave links to the appropriate Salter shop webpage below in the description if you want to take a look at their clamp offerings. They offer both the Bessie range and their own as it happens. Let me know any thoughts or questions below and share experience of these or any other brand as I do love a bit of tall talk. And as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.